DuckStation, a PlayStation emulator, has become the preferred emulator to use for the classic console. And so I thought it would be a good time to do an installation and setup video so you can find out why. DuckStation is mainly being developed for Windows, Android, Linux, and Mac platforms. For today's installation and setup, I will be using the Windows 10 operating system. In terms of hardware requirements, you want a 64-bit CPU and a GPU that is capable of OpenGL 3.1, Direct3D 11 feature level 10, or Vulkan 1.0 and above. For game enhancements, I would recommend a CPU with at least 2.0 GHz or above, and a video card with at least 2 GB of VRAM. For Windows, the VC++ redistributable is also required, and a link to downloading it is available on the official website. The latest build for DuckStation is available on the official website, duckstation.org. Selecting Windows followed by Download should automatically start the download of the emulator. Once the download completes, head to your download folder and use an application like WinRAR to manually install it to your preferred location. Once installed, you will want to head to the location and open the file titled DuckStation QT, which can also be identified by the icon as well. If successful, you will be met with an initial screen that is going to prompt you to provide a location of your game or scan for them. Choose Add Game Directory. This will bring up File Explorer and you want to locate the folder where your games are stored. Once you selected your folder, you will be prompted about scanning recursively. Select Yes. If you've done this correctly, a list of all your available games should now be visible. Now before you can run the games, you will need to provide a BIOS. There are two ways you can set up your BIOS. When we first started DuckStation, it created a folder in your Documents folder location. As you can see, it has generated a few folders, and one of them is for the BIOS. You can either add the BIOS to this folder, or go to Settings in DuckStation, select General, select BIOS, and browse the location of where you already have your BIOS stored. Once your BIOS is set up, I suggest running a game to make sure the BIOS is working as expected. To start up a game, you can simply just double click on the game you want to run. Once you have confirmed the game is running, then you can exit the game by pressing the escape key. Each time you exit a game, you have the option to create a save state or exit without one. Let's go through a few settings that help with both performance and enhancing your games. DuckStation gives you the choice of global settings and game specific settings. For this example, I will be doing game specific settings. Right clicking over a game will bring up a context menu. Clicking on properties will bring us to the settings menu. The first section I suggest reviewing is the console section. Here you can set region, compiler, CPU, and CD-ROM emulation. For those interested in overclocking the emulated CPU, which can help with both increasing and stabilizing frame rates, you'll want to check enable clock speed control and use the slider to determine how high or low you want the emulated CPU to run at. Remember that doing this is going to require resources from your CPU. Certain games are also going to require a cheat code to unlock the frame rate. I'll be going over using cheats in just a few. Next we'll go to the emulation section. Here you'll be able to tweak settings for fast forwarding, rewinding, which lets you rewind gameplay similar to Prince of Persia's The Sands of Time mechanic, and run ahead which can decrease input delay. All these features do require resources from the CPU. Now let's take a look at display settings. The renderer section will let you change your graphics API. Direct3D11 is the default. Vulkan is usually the recommended API when it comes to performance, but it isn't always going to work with your games of choice. PlayStation games were originally designed for the 4-3 aspect ratio, but you do have the option to change it. 
Just remember that this can cause the image to get stretched for those wanting to make it widescreen. There are also widescreen hacks available that may do a better job. I would also recommend initially using the Show FPS option, especially if you're going to do enhancements, as this will let you know if the game is running at the intended frame rate while you're in full screen. The FPS will show up at the top left of your screen when you're in the game. The right side gives you the current speed your game is running at, and the left side gives you the internal speed the game is running at, which helps when you're trying to use overclocking to get your game to run at a better frame rate than it originally did. Next we have the enhancement section. Here you can upscale the internal resolution, filter textures, enhance colors, and use the widescreen hack. Remember, upscaling does require resources from your video card in order to take advantage of this. One of the big features for enhancements is PGXP, which can help correct wobbly and warped textures, as you can see in this example. This also requires resources from the CPU. Lastly, we'll check the advanced section. The only feature I really wanted to point out is the anti-aliasing section. I found that certain games will not run depending on what you choose, so just keep that in mind. So that's pretty much all I have for settings at the moment. As I mentioned before, some games require that you use cheat codes in order to unlock frame rates, and so I just wanted to quickly take you through setting this up. In order to select cheats, you have to start up your game first. Once the game is started, click on System in the menu, go to Cheats, and click on Cheats Manager. DuckStation has already provided cheat codes, but there is the option to add and import additional cheat codes should you have any that are not currently provided. Once you have selected the cheat, it will immediately take effect so you can close the window and go back to playing your game. As you can see, the DuckStation is an amazing PlayStation emulator with a fantastic UI and a ton of amazing features that will let you enjoy your favorites in a way that you may never have before. For those who are interested in playing games online, there is a fork of DuckStation that is currently in development and utilizes rollback netplay using a peer-to-peer -peer connection similar to the Dolphin emulator. I have pinned a link to this emulator in the official DuckStation website in the comment section below. This is the core resident entertainment techie signing out.